Yo, what's good everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. And this is another episode of The Composition. And, wow. Apparently today is there's supposed to be this, this blackout going on. And so it's kind of like, hmm, is anybody going to be online? Uh, but, yeah, it's a protest, which I think is, is super dope. You know, still, when it comes to protests, and I feel like, you know, your dollar is going to do a lot more to these companies, you know, so, and, a, and the tension is a form of that, tension is a form of that, so the title of today I wanted to talk about was Organization. Organization, organization. What is this dreaded organization? So, you know, I'm, if you've heard my previous podcast, you know that I'm reading this book called Atomic Habits. Freaking fire. Um, so if you're looking to, you know, break some, some habits, make some new ones, or understand how habits are created, different things like that, this is definitely 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 a good book to get now the particular aspect that i'm at right now is talking about environment and basically the title of this chapter is motivation is overrated environment often matters more and he brings up this experiment that the uh, school cafeteria did where the without saying anything the only thing they did was include water bottles in more places around the cafeteria and in the place where soda was offered at the register they included to have water in there as well um they saw you know like a 20 plus percent increase and water cells but also a decrease as far as the soda cells so it goes on to explain why this is you know basically if you set up certain cues for success or to have a successful days based on your environment then you're going to be able to build better habits they they were saying how in it's better to build a habit in a new environment because you have new cues you know you're not having you're not having to compete with you know cues that are already set in motion so you know if you're in a situation where you can't just like get up and move or anything like that it is changing your space or surroundings you know some entrepreneurs we do work in maybe a very centralized location but sometimes like our room or our living room is like the place we sleep the place we work and the place we relax and so he the book was going on to explain why that is a bad idea you know because you start layering in the different um you have these cross cues basically and so it's it's they explain how you know beneficial it is to have a room say for instance like your bedroom only be a place that you sleep in you know the living room only a place that you relax in you know but they did say later on you know that if you are in the space where you you just have your room for instance and it's just you and you kind of just have like this all in one thing going on he was saying to make activity zones so it was explaining how this one person only does it was very interesting i i might actually you know use this but there's there's a the author was saying that i know a writer who uses his computer only for writing 
his tablet only for reading and his phone only for social media and texting you know um so i thought that that was very very interesting but when it comes to um <laughs> he was saying uh, for people who was just saw like my apartment is the size of a smartphone I need each room you know to play multiple roles and that's when he was saying that you want to divide your room into activity zones a chair for reading a desk for writing a table for eating you know and it was explaining that you can do the same in your digital spaces and that's what brought up the writer who has as far as those different things you know um it made me really really think again what you can do with space like how much space do you need to do the things that you need to be doing you know i think about as a as a creator as an artist and different things like that that i don't need per se like a whole crazy amount of space yet and a lot of what I've been coming to grips and realization with is just getting good at what it is that I have currently. The people that I have currently, if there's people that are in my circle, really get to getting closer with them, responding to them, responding back to them. You know, I know that I could be completely horrible. You know, I'm trying to understand what really that is you know because I wouldn't say like I was always like this because I know the things that need to be done you know like for a lot of my musical career yeah I was the I did a lot of the inboxing hitting people up responding back being on top of it bang 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 then I like I'm trying to really understand what happened, but it was like I kept just withdrawing, 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 you know, not responding back. And it, it wouldn't be the person. Like, it's literally me. Like, I don't like, <laughs> you know, so that's what I feel like a lot of understanding and doing this research and habits within myself because it really just it really could just be a habit there's you know a part a part of it as well you know that I think about is how I used to work at a call center and you know I would just have to email and call people and all this shit and I don't know, like a combination of that mixed in because the last job that I had before leaving the nine to five was a call center job. So I don't know if it was a combination of that plus what I've been doing. Maybe it was just a level of burnout, you know, and I've been trying to find a aspect of recharge, but I continue to like overwork and it's completely not even necessary because when I really look at the things that I that I need to be focused on um that would probably switch up a lot of things a part of that definitely is responding and engaging (laughs) <laughs> you know it's it's a part of it i don't know i don't know what it really is because i'll be talking and then i'll just like retreat talk retreat talk retreat and a part of me is you know what this comes full circle a lot of times when that happens and remember the title of this episode is organization Sometimes you really have to understand your or your energy and you have to organize your energy. Usually it could sometimes it's a simple tweak and next thing you know everything is is flowing pretty awesomely. You know, but I realize it is a it's that's why it's a need for organization. You know, it's the organization of my energy, where my energy is best, you know, suited for in general, and then where I have 
to work at it a little a little extra <sighs> yeah it's really like it's the over it's it's using that energy it's realizing that there's a sprinkle it just needs to be sprinkled out daily there's certain tasks that yeah they need to be done daily but they don't need to be done all day and that's what i'm realizing with the organization you know i can create a four to five hour work schedule to where yes within those that time frame everything's good and i've created it i've i've literally created that but what causes for a person to not follow through with the schedule and usually it is the consequence sometimes you know yeah i can sit here and be like yeah you know this is for my business and da 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 and i need to do this this and this but you know i it's not like and here's the thing you shouldn't have to be in these crazy situations in order for you to snap to it now you shouldn't have to be dangling um above a shark <laughs> for you to be like okay let me focus on this this is you shouldn't be about to get evicted or all of these different things before you turn it on so what i'm trying to do is get myself to understand like this is your responsibility ability and even if i'm not able to find that motivation within myself i need to tie something you know um whatever it needs to be but holding yourself accountable for certain things because there is emotional triggers that are tied to the decision making or lack of the decision making and i understand with me a lot of what i'm having to do is just do not like i I, my thoughts are my greatest gift and i wouldn't say a curse but uh, i can say that it can cause some issues because i haven't fully trained myself like of course there's going to be like that's the thing with all of this stuff of course you are going to have issues with trying to um, reprogram yourself of not having that negative thoughts. Of course, you're going against like your whole life of doing it a certain way. I think it's just more so understanding like that's what you're doing and not really looking at certain time constraints that's a lot of what it is that i've been doing is not looking at the time constraints but more so the tasks that need to be done ultimately so i like the i like the idea of three major tasks daily i've seen many forms of success as far as with that and again, even sometimes that is, you know, that takes time. All these different things take time. And I have to, sometimes I have to ask myself, you know, at what point do you want to be, like, how much of that do you want to have to really take care of in the future? Sometimes you have to ask yourself that. The decision, the choice that you're doing right now. Do you, do you really want to be having to deal with that choice or the aftermath of that choice? These atomic habits, little bit, these little choices, little by little add up. Same thing with your spending. Be a little thing there, a little thing there, a little here and there. And next thing you know, what, what? what so sometimes 
it is important to fully get in presently in the now. And I feel like that's what this organization is for a day. Even if it's just organizing, just the thoughts in my head, the actual, I know I need to clear some space on my computer. That's a big thing. Organization. I want to drop these videos, want to do this, this, and this. And it's just like, hold up. You need to make some space. And all that requires is me just being like, all right, let me actually clear some space. Let me set some time throughout the day and clear some space um all right so that's pretty much the main thing organization get organized um yeah <laughs> that's the main overall that is what the overall message of today is get organized organize your life um but other than that it's mr composition mc that writes fiction Peace.